Okay, so let me quickly um, attend to this. So I'll be using this design. Now, I want to address how we can... Let me copy this design to a new page. So, um, three things or two things actually how to move these designs around. Now, this is cross stitch and look at what's up, uh, what happens if you try to like drag it manually. You see, so I'm just trying to move this from here to here and see the way it's loading, right? So um, let me show you a concept you can easily use to move it around no matter the size and um, both in width and height. So this is what to do. Now let's say you have an object here. And then you have another one. Let's just give it another shape for the sake of uh, this tutorial. So, okay, now we have two separate items, right? So, if we want them to be aligned, let, let me just let me give this to be perfectly on each other. We can either like drag it all the way here, just like we did with this pocket, or this is the um, first way I want to show you. This is called um, arrange and aligning center. So if I want this guy to move all the way here, all I need to do is this one will be my reference point, and this one is the one going to meet um, the reference point. So you have to select the two, but you have to select the one you are moving. Yes, move, select the one you are moving, then select the one that is going to receive. So arrange, align, center. So this one will jump to here. So now that is exactly what you will do when you are working with um, cross stitches. So instead of moving it manually like this, this is all you need to do. Just create like um, a point of reference. So assuming I want to move this design from here to here in less than like a point. So in less than one, one second here, it's even like a millisecond. So from here, from here to here. So instead of selecting, drag it all the way here, just create a reference point it can be any shape but we are just like going to use this as a reference point right so select the design you want to move <coughs> excuse me so select the design you want to move to the point you where want it to go so i'm going to select this design then i'm going to select this then arrange align center so now you notice that everything has moved all the way from here to here look at the speed but we have another problem the problem we have is all this black and stuff they are out of place and why is that um this is the reason here now i've selected everything but we don't have only one item we have the black we have oh excuse we have the brown ones you can see on the right that they are separate so now just like here so assuming i have like five of these like so so if i select all this purple i want this purple to come here and I select this, then arrange align center. You see what happens. So everything will be on each other. So that's what applies here. So if I select just this and tell it to ar arrange and align center, that means everything on this place, everything should be aligned at the center point. So which means if I want to do this, move them um, as a unit, if you need to like recognize them as a unit. So you need to first of all um, take these three as a unit. Now we have one, two, three items. But for us to carry this as a single unit so that we know that we're only dealing with two items. Yes, when you're aligning items, you need just two items. So now we have one, two, three, four. We have four items and we want to align just two. So in order to, this is one item already, but we want to assume this is also a single item so that it can be two items that we're aligning. What do we do? We just select all these purple shapes and group them that's all you need to do you need to group them together so when you group it's now standing at the, as a single unit see if i select this it selects everything so it's assumed as a single unit so if i want to move this before now I'm assuming it's not grouped if i want to move i can easily just move only this guy but now that is grouped so if i just if i select this every other thing will be selected and it will move so same thing Will now apply so if you select this
So now let's select and select this arrange align center. So now this is centered as it is. All right. So if you want to do the same with the cross stitch, you need to make sure that they are standing. It's standing like um, an item. So here I've selected this. So I need to group Control G to group or just right click and group right. So now this is assumed as a single item. This is also another item. So all you need to do is don't forget the one traveling will be the one to go and meet the reference point. So select this one first. Select the reference point, arrange, align, center. So this is just the fastest way. Then you can proceed to delete this, right? And if you don't want, if you still want to like edit this, you can ungroup because actually I would want the black to go to be done first, right? So it will be like uh -huh. so I can proceed to finish it up and you know select this and group again as you wish. So that's how to like move it here in the um, ES65, that's V9. And if you are using E4.2, this is how to go about it. So the, uh, we have this design, I don't know, it just happened to be on the screen. So if I wish to move this design from here to here, um, well, we are fortunate E4.2, let me group so that we know it's a single unit, can be fast, like literally. But if you still want to use the same technique, it's very much practical. So it can be any shape. It might have feeling or no feeling. So let me make this another color. <clears throat> Excuse me. Something loud and odd. <clears throat> don't forget we have grouped this as a single unit. If I don't group it, everything will just meet here. So I'll group this as a single unit. I'm going to select this as well. So there is the arrange, uh, align, centers. So it will come all the way here like so so it's um, pretty straightforward so the last thing i want to show you is how to center a design at um before you run it now when you are working with designs you notice that we have this machine formats right look at um you see the dst pairs and parudan and so on tajima so you have to convert to this version before you run it on the machine right so if you before you can do that you need this um, design each design to be at the center and this is what i mean let's go to a new page so um let me copy this design here Control c to copy in short just on this window let's see now you notice um, a plus here this is this plus is telling us that this is the center of this design like all the design you are seeing on this page currently, this is the center. This is the center point. While this um, red plus sign, let's zoom maybe this red plus sign is telling us as, as wide and big as this window is, you see, this is a old window, working window. So it's like very wide and you can, you see, zoom out to infinity kind of so as well as this this is the center of this window so if you want to work with it and now for you to convert a design that a machine would understand this design has to be at the center so which means each time you need this plus sign to align perfectly with this window so that when you put it in the machine it will recognize that okay this is um uh, it's not too wide or too small like that, right? So um, how to do that is you can decide if you want these two designs like you want to run it side by side on the machine if you have a big frame to run that I think this 4.5 by 5.5 inches. This is one one and a half by 15 inches So you can just like place them side by side. That means you have to like manually Bring this plus sign all the way here, you know, you just drag 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 but the whole point is working smart, not working hard. This one is working hard. So how do you work smart then? Is to paste it as like at the center. So let's say I want to copy out this um, pocket. So just Control C to copy. Go to a new page. If I click on Control V only, which is to paste, look at what happens. So we see that the plus sign, this is the center of this pocket. 
and this is the center of this window automatically when we pasted it it's not at the center this is what you can do either you paste it as edit paste special and center as current stitch that's how you can uh, are we on the same page um that's how you can easily paste it let's let's do that again edit paste special center at current stitch you see so it aligns perfectly with that window and um the keyboard way is to control and alt then v so it will put it there just on a control v you just paste it anywhere around the window depending where you copied it from but control alt v control with alt and v where is the text here so you need to click on the control with your alt key before you click on v so that's that's what will help you to paste it and it will be centered like this then you can proceed to save it and in machine format this is file um export export machine file and then if you are using jeff just just select your machine type here jeff janome if you are using tajima dst tajima dst right select it and you know go ahead and save so um if you are using that's how to centralize the design on e4.2 if you are using es65 this is how to go about it you need to like first of all do the setting you see this is the plus is this but if you notice that your own plus is like somewhere here it's just at the edge of the design do this stitch or to start and end then your own is probably like like this is not marked so use click on this use auto start and end you see this is what auto start and end method looks like so it's like to be at the center then click on save i've saved it already you click on save and it will ask you if you want to do that for new designs do say yes so i've clicked on save already i won't be doing that here so in any case this plus showing that all this design we have on this page this is the center why this is the center of this whole window so what we need to do is um let's say i want to um paste a new design if i just copy i'll go to a new page and paste even if it's like within here so you need to first do the settings look at special go to options the general and here you will see paste so just select center at current stage and click on ok so what that means each time you copy a, page, a design to a new page ctrl v this one is just ctrl v it will automatically paste it at that center note the difference if you uh, are using es65 all you need to do is first of all go to the settings like special options then the general settings come to paste center at current stitch that's all that means each time you copy a design just ctrl v and it will be perfectly aligned at the center then you can go ahead to ctrl s then type the name then change the type that's how to save tajima dst tajima or dot pes brother baby lock and stuff same thing with the flap so so you can just copy go to a new page and ctrl v to paste um which we have done and then proceed to save it so that's how to get um, the design at the center and remember uh for you to move any design around here no matter the shape like as long as you make a tiny like marking so you see as tiny as this is if i want to move all of this I think have I grouped no so let me group this so now we have two items I've grouped this as a single item we have this as a single item since this one is the one traveling to come and meet this I'll select it first then I'll select this green too tiny for me to hold there so I just hold it here then we arrange and align center so this one will move all the way so you see that happened in like less than one second yeah I promise it's, it's less than one second so that's how to go about it if you are using yes 65 and if you are using this you can do the same thing as well or you simply like you know move it around because fortunately it's it runs faster here so i'll see you in the next one